you know it's funny this stuff to me is all meant to be fun right but there's also a part of me that thinks it's still work sure i'll water the grass first so i think about the fact of filming something like this where I'm setting up the kiddie pool for the little man up on the deck i'm like oh no that's not work bit windy isn't it out here But actually, these types of things are a huge part of my life. Oh gosh. There are times having an out office outside of the house sounds amazing to be able to get work done. But for the most part, I love being in the house because I get to go and see the boys whenever, or the wife. This is one of the latest things my wife and I did. We tilled up this whole area that was previously trees. We'd taken all of these down replanted grass and just making sure it grows properly which is growing pretty nicely now dude have you seen how long this is no i'm just talking to myself you see how long this grass is shay still just talking to myself oh there's a rabbit will that do or am i just bored not sure <laughs> i do duh now because there's a large part of me that still thinks about this as work i don't see this as work right so it's kind of like why would i put this in the vlog this is just part of the things I like to do for fun. Hi, Woogies. Yeah, do you want me to bring up the water? Got it all in my sock. Can we bring it up? But this whole vlog is about my life and my experiences doing things. Whether it's like making money related or not. Yeah. It's the money shot right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> here you go, Woogies. I'm gonna turn it on now. Two flipping oranges. Are you ready, Rooks? Yeah, you ready? I'm gonna turn the water on. Okay. How's that doing, Rooks? Oh! That was my bad, sorry. So before I tell you about what I've been doing this morning, I have a plan is to try and make the best bubble solution for him. He keeps dumping it out, but also none of them are good, so I want to find the best one. Dude, uh, hey, Rugis, it's all right, you just slipped. Don't you spray me. No. <laughs> Get away from me, you bum. Spray Duda. Get away from me. Hey! <laughs> Okie dokie. We have a bit of a problem between the stepping over the camera and now the pool has a leak in it. So we're going to run to Walmart, but I've just written down, we're going to make giant bubbles, bubbles that won't pop. And then the world's strongest bubble, that's going to take 24 hours. So the world's strongest bubble, you'll see the results of that tomorrow. So let's go and get this and the pool. Vamos, let's see the hole first. Is that the hole, Rugies? Where is it? Is it there? Oh no, it's a... Uh... It's, I think it's in good condition though, otherwise. Look at it all coming out. Oh no. Yeah, I'll get you a new pool. Good boy, I'll see you soon. Dude, you stay outside, please. Good girl. You're all wet. Ah, yes. Just a few drips now. Okay, good news, Oliver. You forgot to record anything in here. Thankfully, there was nothing of any importance. All right, some things you didn't miss out on. Number one, I tried to find where glycerin was in the store. We've got it, tried to find where it was, and I searched glycerin into Google Maps. Not a good start. And then I found this. It's a, a skating trainer. Now, a few things, few things go through my head when I saw that. Number one, that's a stupid thing. Oh, here's more bubble solution. But then I thought, actually, that makes it quite fun for a video because people are like, why the hell would you buy that? Why wouldn't you just buy a proper skateboard? So I think we have to compare it, don't we? We buy bubble solution. Dude, kids toys these days, way better than what we had. Oh, sorry. I-25. Mm, I feel like it's not gonna be down here. After you, sorry. Sorry, after you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> has to be in this back section. Gotta be. How's this for a flattering angle, by the way? Oh, right up the nostrils. Darn it, I'm gonna have to go. Wait, is this where you'd find a fly swatter? No, you'd find that back at the bloody front. 
I need a wire hanger and some fabric. Oh, I've got an interesting story actually. So, wife and I went to go pick up Jose Peppers the other day. So just some like chips and queso. Very American thing, Hispanic thing. I think that's more of an American thing. There we are. Sorry. <laughs> okay, wire hangers don't exist anymore apparently. So we call it in as a takeout. Now, we've always previously tipped at like 20%, the kind of normal standard rate, which as a Brit living in America was very difficult to come to terms with to begin with, since we don't tip unless you have really good service. And even then you're not tipping at 20%. And the way the person receives that tip is a very much like, I really appreciate your generosity. Whereas here, very different story. So I step in the door, tell her that I'm there for a pickup. She goes and gets the queso. Meanwhile, she's printed out the receipt for me to sign. And so I sign it, I put no tip and I just put the amount. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. I don't suppose you have like a small piece like this, but of a um, mesh like material, do you? No, just these ones? Okay, all right, thank you. I don't know if she was mute, but I've got more conversation out of a rock before. Of course, hasn't been a very good day for shopping, has it? I think this is gonna do. Okay, so I signed the receipt, no tip. When she comes back, sorry, she gives me the bag and she says, I put an extra queso in there because I feel bad making you pay for queso. And so that's when I turn and I said, in my head, I'm like, oh gosh, here we go. And now I want her tip because she's gone above and beyond, but I've already filled out the tip. So I'm like, okay, I'll put my own pride aside. And I say, can you print off a new one for me, please? So I can add a tip. And I didn't connect the two at the time, but she looked at me and she said, oh, you tried to swoon me, did you? with this kind of like half sarcastic look. And I didn't think twice about it at the time. Did the tip, I did it 100%. So now instead of $5, it's $10. And we wouldn't eat both queso anyway, but that's what it is. <laughs> and got back in the car, I was telling my wife about it. And she was like, she really said that to you? I was like, yeah, what does that really mean? She's like, well, she's basically just said, oh, you tried to scam me. As I've told her, I'd like, can you reprint it so I can give you a tip? But that's the kind of thing where just like tipping over here, super weird. Like you really think you should be tipped for bringing out my food. You didn't even like have to do any of the customer service type stuff. Dude, what is it with old people? If we're gonna try Dawn and not Dawn. Apparently that makes a difference. Yeah, they just seem to feel like they can go wherever they want and not have to say excuse me or apologize. Like just cause you're old doesn't mean you get to be an old fart, you know? I'm so slow at shopping, it's not even funny. I've been here about 30 minutes so far. It's an exaggeration, maybe 20. Here they are again. We've distilled water. Sorry. Get some beef hide for the doggo. Dude, uh, oh, here she is with us. <laughs> Need some of Bob's rolled oats. Lovely. The wife likes cream of wheat. Why would you get the two and a half minute versus instant? Cornstarch, A17. Bro, am I stupid? Yes, I am. <laughs> Cornstarch and then fly swatter. Got food colorings at home. All right, I switched out the mesh because I'm kind of cheap and also saw this as an idea for this, these two tennis racket things, which also comes with a mesh on the outside. Oliver, you little genius. I love this like little nod between people. Like this guy and I were going the same direction and then we figured out which way we're each going to go and just like with a little smile as well. Oh, a little fishing net might be a good idea. Why can he find a fly swatter? Why two? I am in Y2. This is all the fly stuff. I'm looking at where other ones are and it says, ba oh, there we are. Two pack. <gasps> Blue versus red, big test. I was thinking about doing a fish net as well, but I just, I don't think we need it with all the things that I have here. Fish net would be too similar to others. Okay, let's go pay. Dude, uh -huh. Dude, I see Nakey Rugi at the window. Rugi, I got you a new pool! I was gonna wait for it to fill up and do a nice time lapse, but he wants to play in it and he's naked, so. You're getting me wet, mister. Hey! Hey! I guess we don't need the oats and the cream of wheat, dude, uh. 
All right, I'm trying to do this while the little man's asleep. So we've got four bubbles to make. Normal bubbles, as best as I can. Giant bubbles, bubbles that won't pop, and then the world's strongest bubble. Good stuff, Oliver. So should we make normal bubbles? Yeah. Normal bubbles, I'm just grabbing tap water. I'm just gonna throw in a load of dish soap. Oh, how much have we got, by the way? Very lovely. I'm gonna go with quite a lot. I always underestimate it. Good job, dude. Electric toothbrush to get it ready. Mixed up. Look at, look at that, dude. Right, over here, you're in the camera. Come over here. Good girl. Don't drink that, Duda, okay? We'll try all these when Rugi wakes up. He's napping at the moment, so I have to get them all done first. All right, Duda, giant bubbles. So I've heard there's a massive difference between, I think it's the surfactant non-branded dish soap and using Dawn dish soap. You know what? You all right, Duda? You sound perfect. Oh, hello. Okay, doing my research earlier, I saw something about surfactant. Do that. You know what, I need to get organized. Forgot my sugar. I do that. Next one. Where's my measuring cups? Doing half cup of Dawn dish soap, two cups distilled water, and quarter cup cornstarch. The cornstarch, oh gosh. Now we're just making a mess. Where's my toothbrush? Dude, I'm mixing up the giant bubble mix. Like honestly, as much as I'm doing this for my son, I'm also doing it for me. I would enjoy this. I do enjoy this. Hey Siri, how much is 400 millimeter? How much is 400 milliliters? What am I saying? Stop. Siri, what's 100 milliliters? What's 100 milliliters in cups? Oh, so we need a cup of distilled water, teaspoon of sugar, quarter cup of starch again, and then an eighth of a cup of washing up liquid. This is bubbles that won't pop, apparently. There it is, should have done the water last, shouldn't I? Toothbrush. All right, and then finally, the next one has to sit for 24 hours. The world's strongest bubble. Two cups of water, quarter cup of Dawn, two teaspoons of glycerin. Dude, are you excited? Dad, I don't know what's going on. Okay, at the end, we'll try that one and then try it again tomorrow, see what the difference is. Let's put you away, darling. Actually, I'm gonna do this with my kid but it is way too much effort to blur out his face in every shot, so I'm just gonna try it with you here. All this rubbish out of the way. I'm pretty sure I saw you lick this one, Duda. So that can be yours. I should do this against the window so you can, yeah, so you can see the bubbles. Uh, this is my tripod, very nice. The question I have is, can you even see these? We're not off to a brilliant start. This is my homemade solution. Not great. So I thought we have to start off with the Bubble solution from the store. Hi, Duda, come to join me. Hope you put your safety specs on. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, crikey. Oh, bloody hell, where'd you come from? We give this one a go, Duda, you ready? Actually quite impressed with that. Bought this one for the little man the other day, absolutely trash. Works a bit better. I'm trying to find the right tool for the job. Excuse me, Duda, can I use the fly swatter? No, we're gonna go with this one next. Trash, get rid of you. We're not even gonna bother with the baby bubble. The fly swatter. Dude, this one's exciting. Are you excited? I, oh, I quite like the mesh bubbles that we've got going on here. Oh, oh yeah. Oliver, yes, we like that. Come on. How are we gonna do this? Uh, do you need to go in, Duda? Go on then. Yeah, sometimes, every now and again, oh. I do surprise myself with my ingenuity. You ready for the, whatever you call this? Oh. That is a nice shower of bubbles. It's a nice change, but what about this netting? Okay, not brilliant. You know, honestly, I'm not underwhelmed either. I kind of expected all of that. And I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, this was crap. This was actually quite good. We need a point system, don't we? Nope, Oliver, your bubble solution sucks booty. The real question is, are you fly swatter material? Trash, trash, get it out of here. But also for my own desire, I want to try this. 
No, they all just died. That means it's too heavy. The liquid's too heavy. See, I've heard about this. Get out of here. We're gonna pick the best one for my son. I've decided that's the way we're going with this video. Oh, looks like you need a quick mix. May I help you? The cornstarch has sunk to the bottom. Diabolical. Who the hell gave me that recipe? What the heck? Come on, bubble man. Is it the foam that's the problem? The solution's really white. Bit better. At this rate, you're just better off to buy it from the store. See, that looks better. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty underwhelmed by all of this. I was expecting to look at this, the liquid you buy from a store and be like, I can't believe people ever buy that. Okay, on to the last one. All right, remember, we've got to save this stuff for tomorrow before it's properly ready. But this is meant to give us the bounciest bubble. Dead, absolutely dead. Doesn't seem very bouncy on my nose, does it? I did see somewhere, take off an odd daisy sock, link in bio, <laughs> and I read that you could catch it on your sock or at least like bounce it. Oh yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Yeah, see, I guess we'll come back to that tomorrow, but those, those can all go in the trash. Okay, well, okay, Oliver. One last test with this one. This doesn't give me the foamiest bubbles. See, that's quite cool. Just a massive slug. Rugi, I tried to make you the best bubble solution ever, and instead I made, I made this one and had it mass produced for you. You gonna try the fly swatter? All right, let's see how you do. Dip it in and then swing. Whoa! But I'm not saying our deck was in perfect shape before, but what's all this all about? Got cornstarch all over the desk, the deck doodah. I didn't plan on this, but I found this in the car. This is the charger I was talking about the other day that I wanted to keep in my go bag, whatever you want to call it. So we've got DJI Action 2, a mic that's going to stay in there. We've got the dead cat too. We've got the sticky cap so you can place it anywhere. Love this. And chest mount. And then we've got a charged up USB-C. I'd like to add in DJI Osmo 3, but not necessary. But I do need, I would like to get another Action 2 so that one can stay in here and one can stay here for me to use. Oh, very fetching. Okay, good night. <laughs>